Hey guys, okay, so I'm doing something a little crazy. Um, okay, so it is obviously snowed here again, and y'all know how I feel about the snow, but <clears throat> I am doing a little experiment for Jenny at Copper Cat Apothecary. We were talking a couple weeks ago, and she said that she had always wondered what some bath bombs would do out in the snow, and since she lives in Southern California, I said, well, I tell you what, if it snows again here, which obviously it just keeps doing this winter, I will test that theory out for you. So um, I'm out here and I've got some little pieces, some little dust out here. So um, I don't know, we're gonna stick it in and see what it does. It may not do anything, but uh, I don't know, we're gonna see. So um, I don't know, let's just put it in there. So yeah, y'all know how I feel about the snow, but I'm a Southern girl, so you know, what can I say? It's just snowed way too much for my taste this year. I may have to just leave it and come back and check on it. And it's, it's kind of dark back here in my backyard because I've got a lot of trees. It's kind of blocking the sun, but it doesn't really look like it's doing anything right now. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, I guess, and it doesn't look like this has moved or done anything at all, but I have some more dust, and this is actually from Jenny. This is from a Copper Cat, so I'm gonna put some more dust in a different patch and see if it does anything different, and then I may just leave it out here for a while and then come check on it. We may stir it up. I don't know. We're just gonna experiment a little, so um, hang on one second, and we'll do that too. Let me see if I can I'll just put it right here. Sometimes it would just really help me out when I do things like this. <laughs> if I had three hands. And then maybe we'll get some better light in a few minutes too. When the sun comes over the trees. Alright. That looks good. Okay. Oh, it's cold out here. Obviously. Okay, ooh, this smells good. Ooh, it smells so good. This is her um, pumpkin cheesecake bath bomb that I've got from like, I still have left over from Halloween. It smells really good. It's kind of like a spicy, pumpkin spice scent. Okay, so this is what we have to bath bomb in the snow experiments going on. So, um, I don't know. I'll come out here and um, check on it again in a few minutes and we'll see what is going on with it. Okay, so it's been about, I don't know, 10 or 15 more minutes, and it doesn't look like anything's moved at all or done anything, but I decided to add one more variable. <laughs> this is one of Rudolph's noses from Sweet Shop of Horrors, so um, I don't know. We're going to do like an actual uh, little bath bomb and not to dust. We're going to sit that in here just like so. Stick that about halfway halfway in there and see what that does and we'll come back and check on it too oh <laughs> I didn't mean to do it like that oh well we'll stick that almost all the way down in there and see what that looks like okay um so I'll come back and check you know once all this starts to melt um it may be very interesting so I don't know I'll come check on it in a little bit all right, so I finally have some sun out here. It's just like almost right over us. Um, it's been a little bit more than three hours. So, okay, so look, this is what we've got. And I'm gonna go, hang on, I'm gonna get a spoon. So I've got like this big serving spoon right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, color's bleeding a little bit, which is cool, but there's not like any fizz or anything like that. Oh my gosh, it looks like a snow cone. That's so cool. Um, okay, so that's what that one looks like. And then this one over here. This one doesn't have as much color bleeding through into the snow. I don't know, maybe. Around the edges, around that's pretty cool. So they look pretty yummy, actually, is what it looks like to me. Now this one, I'm just going to pick up. I don't think this one has done anything. Oh, 
Well, maybe. Maybe there's just a little color. That's what it looks like. I'm going to let that sit right there on top so the sun can get to it more. So we'll come and check on that one again in a little while. But um, well, now I'm going to stir these up a little bit more. Look at that. Y'all look so much like a snow cone. That's awesome. Okay, so um, I don't know. We'll leave them a little bit longer and see what else they do. I don't know if that's what we got. <laughs> okay, we'll come check on them again in a minute. All right, we're at the five hour mark and we're losing light back here. So let's just go ahead and stir up everything we've got. So I think, and I don't know anything about science. I don't know anything about um, the properties of the compounds of what's in these bath bombs or anything like that as far as, like I said, the science of them goes. But I think that they're just like too cold. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're too cold to like just break down and do anything, period. But um, Jenny did tell me that if they have oils in them that they won't maybe fizz or do anything too. So um, let's go over here and look at the one from Sweet Shop of Horrors. It made a little bit more color in the snow but anyway so I don't know that's pretty cool looking it did look like it um let's see maybe it's starting to get a little wet the snow's melting just a little bit back here so but I just think it's cool it looks just like um it looks like food it looks like like a slushy kind of um I don't know like I could lick it it would be really good and it smells really good because this is scented and bite me so I don't know. Okay, so that ends our experiment. I know it wasn't too exciting, but um, I don't know. Maybe it just um, answers some questions or maybe a thought you might have had on it. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, the, this little impromptu video. See you next time. Bye-bye.